Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Byzantium as Basilius in Europa Universe House 4. I uh, <clears throat> had a day or so to think about what I wanted to do with Aragon and Spain. I realized that we're also at like pretty much max manpower, so we can probably afford to do some more of these extra sieges. And uh, fortunately, we can't get over to Rusalon just yet. Francis doesn't want to give us access, or, or rather, he, he hasn't given us access yet. He would give us access. I suppose the best thing for us to do would be to just ask for access through France and then go siege down Byzant uh, not Byzantium, Burgundy, and get him out of the war. Uh, the Pyrenees mountain range is going to block us completely, though, because it has a zone of control over Navarra and over Tarragona, so until the Pyrenees falls, we can't get through. So we'll work on that first. Let's um, go ahead and get some extra cannons over there, then. And, uh, <clears throat> see, we got a three siege group guy there. I think we have a four available somewhere. Where's he at? He's that guy. All right, cool. We'll, we'll bring him up there as well soon. In the meantime, I noticed this nonsense is going on over here, so we'll go ahead and get a leader appointed somewhere over here and have him go take care of that problem. They've got a nice little one cav, four cannon stack doing these sieges. I, I don't know how that was smart for them, but that, that's what they're doing, so. We're a four siege pip guy up to there. Let's pull... This guy... Excuse me, I, I said pull this guy out as soon as that other guy arrives. The Tunisian Separatist Revolt has fired. Yes, kind of expected that was gonna happen soon as well. Transports are currently not too busy. Getting some repairs, looks like. Okay, let's see if we can pop on over into one of these provinces up here. Pick up a couple troops, just drop them off real quick across the strait. Across the strait? I always call it a strait, it's not a strait. It's just across the water, you know? Alright, where's the guy that was gonna leave? It was you. Pretty good siege status there, then. 4-5 plus 1 from the, uh, you know, the active blockade. <laughs> because of the... Age of Reformation bonus makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. An active blockade. I can totally see it. Can't you? I know I can. Lots of money in Zaragoza. Did that transfer it over to Aragon? Actually, it looks like Aragon never did get a core on Navarra. Untransfer that just so that I don't forget. That is not heavies. I wonder if we can pick that off. If we go there, it'll just pull the five heavies from over there in. Alright, let's just go up this way. More rebels, huh? Well done, sirs. Well, there's a pretty good chance we can just hop across this uh, body of water. There. I didn't call it a straight. How do you like that? I think we can do that pretty quickly. Get a couple more buildings built. I don't know what. Um, there's been a lot of a lot of people commenting saying that they don't want me to do the whole uh, embracing Turkish thing. I guess I can understand why from like a from a role play perspective. From a gameplay perspective, it's it's a bad decision to make decisions based on things like that. But you know. Whatever. If it makes people happy, then we'll do that. And by do that, I mean not do that. Obviously. Okay, so these guys are marching down for preparation for war with Mamluks. These guys are going to take care of the rebels in this area. Um, we might. Yeah, I think we might integrate Tripoli. We can integrate them pretty much whenever we want. Just need to improve relations for a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. I mean, the, the cost to integrate them is going to be pretty high. Ooh, admin tech cost reduction. That's nice. Um, but you know, he's, he's been our subject for quite a while and he's, he's been, um, well, deeply, deeply in debt for, for quite a while. I mean, tri Triple A currently has, let's see, uh, 374 ducats in debt. He's probably gone bankrupt again, if I had to guess. He's never made money. I mean, I don't even take his trade. I don't know how he has so little income. Like, he's just always so poor. I know I built him an extra fort at one point, but come on, man. There's our truth with the man looks. 
there's the fort in Kef. So, let's wait until they move up into Kef, and then we can get the defensive siege. They're about to take back Napoli, which is kind of annoying. If this uh, Pyrenees fort could just, you know, fall, then I could I could go ahead and knock out Burgundy from the war. That'd be pretty swell. Yeah, but no. No, it's apparently not going to happen. Going after Rome now, too, huh? Hmm. We have provinces that lack cores. These three. Oh, I made that into a state back when I was still considering the Turkish idea. If we're not doing the Turkish idea, then it's not really a good province to have as a as a state. So let's unstate this. And then let's consider a different location, like probably the coastline down here. Although I'd, I'd really prefer it to be a location that had already been somebody I integrated. We have the full cores already in place. No, we integrated Albania. So, this whole state, only 15 development, it's pretty crap. It's probably going to be this one. I mean, this, this is a 54 development, 3 province state, not even counting, uh, not even counting this one, which we don't currently control. It's a lot of development, and we have full cores on this, so. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Nobles want more land now? That's fine, they can have some more land. They can have... <clears throat> what can they have? How about they have this? And then why don't we give Aleppo to the burgers? Well, there was that thing that just expired. We could demand an extra... Ooh, Dippo points. This would be handy right now. Yes, please. I think we'll grant Admiralship. Or not grant Admiralship. We'll do that prestige one. We'll give them another province, putting them at 78%. And then we'll demand 150 points. And then, what else can we do? We grant generalship, but that's only with 40, uh, 40 administrative, or 40 army tradition. It wouldn't be very good compared to what we can actually hire normally. Okay, anybody that needs improved relations? Polotsk could use a little bit. Okay, let's do that. Is that the Spanish actually trying to land troops here? What's up with this? Holy smokes, he actually is! He's landing 36,000 troops! And Palermo. He's trying. He's trying to land. <laughs> wow, that's funny. He brought them home. He's bringing his people home. Honestly, I'm not that worried. They took back Napoli. I mean, just imagine the amount of attrition he's suffering, marching that army around. The amount of war exhaustion he's picking up from having pretty much his entire home, home, uh, land body occupied. Like, it doesn't matter if he brings back that army. Besides, you know he's gonna send that army, um, he's gonna go try to pick up another one. He's probably gonna have another one, he's gonna send his fleet immediately off to go pick up more. So, we could potentially just blockade. If he's in the wrong place. While heading into Ancona, I think that gives us enough time to do this fight. I can't believe that the Pyrenees are still holding out. Disease outbreak, naturally, of course, of course. When you have plus four, plus five, plus one, you know what you need. You know what you really need is a disease outbreak. You wanna fight, huh? You're gonna arrive on the 22nd, we can be out on the... Not nearly quickly enough. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying it's going to be a good fight, but I 
We get our 6-6 six, six leader. He's still committed to it. Let's still try to retreat to the mountains. Oh yeah, he backed off. Yeah, we'll hide in the mountains. Yeah, for good measure, let's go ahead and scorch the earth of Rome. Let's just, you know, let's scorch it a little bit. Let's just, you know, scorch. We'll scorch, scorch. For fun. Make them deal with the fact that they take longer to arrive there. Supply is still really, really good, but, you know, we burnt it. That's what's important. We burnt it to the ground. What's this all about? Rebel Uprising. Papal Separatists. What, are you upset that I just burnt the ground? Well, I did burn the ground, so... I mean, I can't really be too too surprised by your upset upsetness. We actually can't maneuver back that way again now, huh? Venice did something. Okay, so you're heading to Rome, and then you guys are leaving. About the same day, huh? That's neat. Be a lot better if uh, had not lost control of Napoli. Easier to move to maneuver around here. Ninety-two percent chance on Pyrenees Mountains. Come on, come on now. Seriously, thank you, thank you. About damn time. Do we have access through your lands yet? We do. All right. Well then, with that in mind, let's take our. Uh, let's get like yeah, ten cannons up to there. These guys can all head up to there, and then this smaller stack can head up to... Oh, I don't know, probably Baroy will be fine. I, I just can't not do that. When I, when I know that it's a thing I can do, I have to do it. So let's see, that's most of Burgundy's army. We're about to apply, occupy and besiege provinces on Burgundy's capital. We could wait for that siege to complete, or we could fight Burgundy's army real quick and see if we can knock him out of the war just based on um, his war, his like army strength. I think I'm going to leave a troop behind just so we can safely cross this way if we want to. But let's go ahead and do this fight. May 10th, May 9th. Let's wait one day. Have both arrive on May, May 10th. Took the... Uh, Spanish army is busy up here fighting Muscovy. Okay, that's cool. Secondary participants are battling it out. Well, Spain's not really the secondary participant, is he? Okay, our 6-6 six, six is... Uh, there we go, rolling all right in the fire phase. That's not too bad. I mean, we have plenty of manpower, so whatever. All right, it's good to see that they're retreating in the wrong direction. Okay, one of these two armies is allowed to move to Salerno. It is... the army with 19. Let's just use them to march straight through, chase this army down. Stack white burgundy and then... they'll want out. That's the plan anyway. This guy needs that siege leader. Wait, no, he didn't. Actually, I changed my mind, Muscovy. I don't want you to siege this. Go away. It's not your job anymore. I'll do it. Get out of here. Okay, so they're blockaded there. That's perfect. That means we can track them all down in Calabria. Oh wait, they have they have control of both sides of the strait. Never mind, they can they can safely cross, can't they?
All right, well then, let's just wait for them to try to cross again. Oh, we should siege these th these couple ones out as well. Granada, this is your goal now. Okay, so we should have 10 cannons, um, let's pull like one and one off to do some separate sieges of these provinces that are adjacent. We show up with 14% chance and we've got 27 day siege ticks against you, assuming that your enthusiasm should be dropping pretty quickly. 24, occupied and besieged is only negative 14, looks like we'll need at least one fort to be occupied. No cannons, not a single cannon over here. Probably why that battle didn't go as well as it could have. Yes, that's what I want to see. Perfect. Alright, I've changed my mind. All of you guys come to here. We're going to go fight the Burgundy Army again. This is our 0-5. We have a better leader than that. There he is. Well, that's unfortunate. Evangelical Union has fired. Okay. All right, Spain. Showing up with Inez here against my 3-3. Not the best leader I've ever had. Um, this guy's currently busy. No cannons. France has decided to declare war on Burgundy. Okay. I mean, we do have cannons up here. We've got a morale advantage, we've got a tactics advantage, discipline advantage. Um, we did not take tech, so that's a thing that we don't have. But, um, he's got a numbers advantage, that's for sure. And we're about to lose the front line. We're like, where's this at? Morale's almost gone, regiment strength 500. And of course the enemy's rolling nines, why wouldn't they? There, there we go, we just folded. Um, well, let's wait until this other army arrives. I kind of wish that I had kept it combined. They can all retreat together. And I guess Muscovy... Oh no, Muscovy was showing up! Crap, I didn't see that Muscovy was even nearby. Alright, it's fine. Hey, it's Roman Separatists. Alright, well, at this point, we're just waiting for Burgundy to want out because of the French occupations, then. That's unfortunate, Muscovy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. That was my bad. So France is at war with just Burgundy. Burgundy has no other friends. We've got a 29 stack to deal with there. Probably going to be dealing with that directly. Pretty soon. It's 
still, no reason to really deal with it just yet. It's, it's actually defending us. If the uh, Spanish army decides to try to come back through here, or if the Burgundy army tries to come through, then they, they'll get stuck on that Papal Fort. You guys actually chasing my, uh, my retreating army? Interesting. So we're gonna hang out in Navarra then. You will not be able to pass through Navarra, I can promise you that. Look at that, there's a 20 stack of Spanish troops trying to take over the Blaries. <laughs> well, they're doing what they can. They've they've got transports, so they're they're trying. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna take a break here. Next episode, we're gonna probably wrap this war up. I think it's about time. Um, they're doing some carpet sieging up here, which is sort of annoying, but, uh, yeah, it's just mostly wait until Burgundy wants out, and then we'll suddenly have, like, 70 or 80 war score against the Spanish, and the Spanish are currently at 11 war exhaustion, so the war's gonna be over very soon. All right, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you soon.